balls of fire and light. We busted out spike growth. We, we busted out a lot of a lot of different things to make this absolute kill zone on our end of the bridge leading to the tower. As it you know, it, what if you could constitute it as a tower still? Uh, it's it's ruined and rubble now. Things were going pretty well, all things considered, as we guarded Aislinn and Seven and Byron for their grand ritual <clears throat> of, you know, enlarging slash shrinking, that sort of things. Michael did uh, enjoin us in his uh, T1 form, eventually his T2 form mid-fight, because we uh, allocated him to giving Captain Severus some breathing room, which was sorely, sorely needed. Um... Without jumping too deep into the details for the sake of brevity, uh, everything went pretty well um, up until it was time to go, as well as K Karishan, that's his name, Karishan, mm -hmm. Mecha Bong. Ironically, I'm going to learn his name, considering how he may or may not be dead at this point. Um, things are going well until Karishan showed up, and uh, Clinton Jericho uh, decided to basically stay behind to ensure that the kill was confirmed against the General's best, hopefully best, lieutenant. <laughs> Watch him be like the worst of his lieutenants. How do you know that guy's name? <laughs> I don't know who that was. I didn't even know him. But regardless, um, tagged along. Uh, the the ritual did complete. People were shrank, shrunk, shrinking down, um, and tossed or, or retreated back onto Byron's chariot or his cart or what have you, and then everyone. Got the fuck out of Dodge, leaving a Michael, a Clint, and a Jericho. And... I think that's about it. A lot of combat. A lot of combat. Mm -hmm. Mostly combat. Daron did get a bit of his spirit back, though, which I'm happy to, happy to say. Hopefully. I think, as of right now, he's middling in spirit, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he said it. He <laughs> said it. <laughs> that's, that's the oh name of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Middling spirits. <laughs> that's gonna be session title. No, maybe. <laughs> yeah, actually. But uh, yeah, that about does it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, am I turning into <laughs> Uncle? Hey, yo, yo, that's that's pretty base though. Catch myself saying that a lot. There's nothing wrong with saying it. Uh, did. Did, did Michael also stay behind with Clinton Jericho? Yes. Because they're also there. Okay, I couldn't remember that. He was thrown down by the tickle, if I recall correctly. And he did not get in shrinkified. Yes. In shrinkified. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I'm glad we get to have this little visual to see everything that's going on. <sighs> Honey, I shrunk the PCs. Oh, it's not a Minotaur. It's uh, worse. I want to know what you do. You look terrifying. Oh, this boy. <laughs> oh, so, I on that. As you get ready to take your leave, we'll say loading up, getting packed up. Well, I mean, maybe. As you get strapped into this sort of backpack, you notice that it is like custom designed in order to facilitate uh, holding small people inside. Got like little seats. Uh, more like ropes to hold on to. Okay. As you jump in, you hear Seven just call out to um, Jericho, Clinton, Michael, who are all 
still actively engaged in the field. Hey, last chance to get in. Come on, let's go. What do oh. y'all do? Asking the party or asking Clint and Jericho? Well, the three that are left behind. Gotcha. Michael responds not and engages back with the tick below. We'll be right behind you. Just securing the kill. Uh, <laughs> I think Jericho spares a glance over towards uh, Sev. Uh, sort of looking at him past uh, Clinton says, I'll get him home safe. Don't worry. Oh, by the light. Ugh. Not the time to be idiots. As you see the spell go off, everyone shrink. Them grow. Byron just calls out, I have room for one. As he holds a hand out. If I recall correctly, neither of us were close enough to be grabbing him, right? We're getting swarmed. Seems, I mean, you didn't. We know that. Uh, whatever the reasoning is, I leave up to you. Can you close the door? Jericho wouldn't take a, take a hand if... Oh crap, he means he's the only one getting out. You just hear Seven say, God damn it! As he ducks down. Fine. We'll grab Poe on the way out. Godspeed. As you say that, you see Byron and Sharon start taking off only for Seven to quickly speed past them just for the inborn pride of the stallion forces it to match speed with Seven. As they jet off having cleared a path out those of you in the back experience Ooh, probably a little bit of nausea moving at such high speeds for the first time. As you take off, you see the wall rapidly approaching. To which Seven just calls on, you better hold on tight. As he leaps onto the wall and with all fours starts galloping up the side of it. With a speed that challenges to catch gravity unaware, he darts up the wall. As he makes it to the end of the wall, you are surrounded on all sides as he darts back and forth to and fro from all these undead that are creeping in, all these necrotized types twos that are swarming in on you in the hundreds. As he gets within vision, roll me perception, those who are on their back. think that's all I would have to add to it. Uh, you know that oh, tracks. That's a womp womp. They're they're diseased womp, womp. and probably trying not to throw up. So it, it makes... <laughs> you have several factors make you want to vomit right now. Yeah, you know what? Rude. Okay, Bradford, you see the gap that you use to break your way through is closed. What do you do as Seven and Byron rush headlong to this, well, blocked gate? Wait, 
This is asking everyone. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I mean, do you point it out? Sure. <laughs> no. Okay. Do you point it out with a squeaky little voice because you're small? I he he just says it. I don't know what he says off the top of my head. Um, but you'll point it out because I apparently it's difficult to see. I don't have a response for this right now. That's okay. Yeah. So you point it out. How do y'all go about unblocking? Now that he's pointed it out, like, can we see what's blocking it? Yeah, a bunch Words. of undead crawling through it. Okay. Oh, this whole, okay. I was so confused. I thought you were saying the path behind us had... I mean, it is closed. Oh, I thought you were I saying, like, saying. that path was closed, mm. not literally the hole that we came through was closed. <laughs> okay, that's a lot more clear. I was wondering, like, how do people not see this? And it's like, oh, I get you. Um... How big did it end up being at the end of everything? It's big enough for us to traverse through, so at least, like, Correct. five feet. Yeah, probably like five by eight foot. I have nothing. <laughs> so we have yeah, a Booyah, we have a Cleo, we have a Bradford. Reviewing the spell list, um, uh... I ain't got shit. <laughs> I ain't got shit either. I, I have spells, but nothing I can... I have Wyvern and Sting, which might be able to maybe do something, but it would have to be... The only thing popping in my head is if he can hit someone that is large to basically act as like a wrecking ball and shove through. Mm. But also, I'm tiny, so I don't know how effective that would actually be. Okay. I have no ideas. Let's see what your allies here have. I'm not everything. Um... There's currently uh, there's a huge thing blocking us and undead are f coming through, right? The gap like, that we came through initially to get into this ring area is now f just full of hordes of people. Right. But that's the only way out, technically? I mean, Correct. Yeah, I, I mean, like, seven could climb a Byron Codex, could he? Right. Uh, we weren't yeah, able to climb it close. in the first place. Because of the wards. Yeah, true. Yeah, it would make sense that the outside and the inside both have the same enchantment. Um, uh, wait, no, Bradford climbed that wall earlier. He climbed up that wall to take out a sniper. After but that's irrelevant because Byron's still gonna get through. Um, that's the wood's broken right now. <laughs> okay. Has Let's Byron see. ever tried to use his wards? Uting his horse. <laughs> yeah, you, like Uting with his horse, which is a lot of an ask because the horse is not exactly light, and an enlarged horse is definitely not light. If yeah, we all shot our a little Uting's bit over the five hundred. <laughs> oh yeah, the Utings have a weight limit. Cool. If you all did it. Mm-hmm. You know that scene in, like, Spider-Man 2 where he's stopping a subway train with, like, a thousand yeah. warp shots? We're doing the inverse. Yeah. That's kind of we're cool. Try we're trying to propel a horse <laughs> with, like, 20 shots. Yeah, and if, and if it goes in, like, 
basically waves of a number of people shoot and then pull and a number of people shoot while it's pulling up, then we could get like a consistent go. And we only need to last like a matter of seconds because of how mo how fast and how much momentum. But we're also fighting against right. Me. Getting down is getting down is the easy part. Oh, wait, Doran's uh, here, isn't he? Can he you make uh, the horse slider? Good, yeah. Uh, as you propose this plan in the short few moments you have, uh, Doran just looks to you. Do you still have slow fall? I do not. I do not have it prepared. Oh, no. What? Oh. That's not good. I know. No, you have a. How do you not have you a. You cry? Use it for. No, I uh, didn't. Getting past Karashan. Did you not? Who did? No, I did. I, I did. Yeah. Iceland did. Hey, Iceland still has spell slots. <laughs> does she? <laughs> right? Does she? She does, yeah. I should have just kept Feather Ball. Okay, that'll work then. So as you propose out this plan, you hear Seven say, Wait, what? As he looks back, looks forward. <sighs> God damn, I love this job. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Let's slingshot a horse. As he picks up speed, you see in an instant he just dashes forward leaving behind Byron as he hits the wall and in three steps he's up this 180 foot tall wall not at all surprising Jesus. as you see the weight on the horse shift you start launching UTs into it as the hoofs hit into the wall the next set come up and it flings right off the top, going into the air. As you see Seven catching his breath at the top, as you fly over on this fourth E.T. style. <laughs> oh my god. You, you see him just steady himself and get ready for the leap with you. As you leap, the ground comes in hard and fast. But at the very last moment, Iceland slows your fall, giving you all the worst sense of vertigo you ever felt in your life from the sudden slowing of momentum. But allowing you to catch your feet on the opposite side. <laughs> Throwing up your mask would be the worst. <laughs> Let's see. He's only a mile away. Alright, math time. Crap, you heard him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's our intersection point? Is a question. Yeah, because boy isn't there still, is he? I would need to know his inter the intersection point and then what the speed is for both parties. A three three hundred cubed times two times two times two. That's no, it's times uh, eight. The first cube we cubed. Oh right, yeah. What's what's the third? What do you call it? What it's uh, I I don't recall the exact term, like hex coupled or whatever. Um, well, three hundred to the eighth power is um, uh, it's 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 a very massive number to the point where we had to use the letter E. <laughs> Didn't that would be it would be 300 300 squared is 900 900 squared would be 8100 8100 times that's 8100 times 8100 oh we know this is times is not 
to the power of. Yeah. That, that's on me, that's on me. This work? It'd be 300 times 8, yeah. So yeah, 2400. Okay. Then times that by 4. That'd be 9600. Okay, so that is 7th movement speed. Understandable. Classic. Poe does, if I recall correctly, he doesn't have any particularly high movement speeds. Aside from no, like the he's, I don't think he's like 40. 35, 40. Yeah. Like, if he's dashing, then it'll be like 80. Okay, so. I mean, I can tell you how much of the MP is going to be on 7. Right. So, round 1. Well, at 9,600 feet. Is this a round? Per round, right? Correct. He goes 1.8 miles every 6 seconds. Okay, this'll it, work. So he goes a third of a mile in 1 second. Okay, so this is the path that Seven's taking? Is there this way you can save that, right? Um, if you hold shift when you initially draw it. Gotcha. And you had to hold it the whole time, and then it'll, it'll let go. That. If not that, I could also just mimic okay, it. Okay, so Poi's going to have to do a little bit of hoofing. Six, five. I mean, 9,000... 9,600 oh, feet no, around. Oh, no, it could be 7,200. 7, he has 7,200. Okay, so this is going to be the point in which they diverge. This, this, this section here? Correct. Okay. I mean, it should Where? still only be matters of, like, not even a minute. Not even half Byron a minute. heads this way. Seven heads that way. So who wrote on seven? Do we get to choose, or are we? Up to how you, many yeah. people can? How many people can seven carry? Five. I'm assuming I was with seven. I thought I shrank. <laughs> so we have one with seven. Uh, Bradbird's gonna be, I guess, with Byron and them because he was definitely helping pulling a horse up a wall. <laughs> I'll be with like, seven. That's strength build here. All right, well, two with seven, more than one sense. All right, uh, Doran will be with seven. All right, then Poyo's with seven, and then the rest will be with Byron. <laughs> and that'll matter for one specific thing. As you hit this divergence point, as you're running so fast, the water barely has time to ripple underneath your feet. You see Seven cut the fastest, sharpest turn on the water, sending up a small splash by the time he's already multiple hundreds of feet away. As he runs on all four throughout this water, you see him rapidly close in. And he just says, you better be ready with that shrink. To which Doran says, got it. As he clears through the bush, you see a uh, exasperated Poye uh, with a large shell that he's holding in his hand, probably about the size of two hands, uh, soaking wet as he looks up just in time to get shrunk and grabbed. So all of you who are riding with seven, that is going to be... Uh, the hardest of con save. Fuck. Okay. Well, fuck. Hey, there's the good save. Well, why? Is that save? Jesus. Oh. Why? Uh, here's the why. duality of man. Ugh. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I don't got anything to change that. That's rough. Okay. So... 
you black out. Yeah. Um, so many and... G's. Yeah. I wonder how many times he had to practice that maneuver to not black himself out at Mach 15. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. The, the reduce is saved. As in all of an instance, like, uh, he reverses his course. And you see yourself back to right where the water splits off. And he kicks it into high gear. Chasing back across the dune in a second, trying to catch up to Byron.